Hello, every pony, and happy Friday! You know what this means. It's time for another version of What in the Buck, where I take a look at some of the most What in the Buck pictures that I have scoured through iFunny and the rest of the internet. And let me just tell you right off the bat, the following pictures is going to make you cringe your pants. If you're still watching this after listening to my voice, which you will be doing this whole time because I don't seem to have auto-tune. Neither did most of the actually talented performers. Yeah, a little burn to the singers nowadays. So, without further ado, let's dive into the cringe. Yeah. Alright, let's start you guys off very lightly with a funny pick. This woodpecker drank some Red Bull. And if you can see in the tree trunk, yeah, that that would that's not a normal woodpecker. That somebody had to have given wood that woodpecker Red Bull, Monster, alcohol, probably some weed or cocaine or or something that you don't see normal woodpeckers doing that, so yeah, that's pretty much what this picture is about. Let's just go on to the next one. And on this next picture is a public service announcement, or at least what was supposed to be a PSA, reminding people about the dangers of marijuana, or lack thereof. The text reads, this is the lungs of a marijuana user. It's really sad what this dope can do to your body. Please people be smart. Put down the dope and pick up the hope, because if you do nothing but smoke marijuana all day long, your pair of lungs is going to end up looking exactly like this walnut. Okay, were you trying to do some visual representation? Could you not go on Google, find a picture of a lungs after someone has smoked marijuana, or even fake it and try to find pics of someone doing tobacco, something like that, and that's their lungs afterwards? You had to put up a picture of a walnut and try to pass it off as marijuana smoker's lungs? Or maybe it's because you are freaking stupid. Seriously? What in the world was going on through your brain? Maybe you were smoking a little bit of that stuff as well. Hmm. Kind of makes you think a little. Alright, let's just go straight to the next picture. Okay, could you not afford... To put an alternate company logo on your axe. Do it incorporated. You seriously thought it was a good idea to put your company logo on an axe. You do realize most of the people that buy axes are lumberjacks, people that need firewood, or psycho killers. Psycho serial killers for that matter. Do you not realize how, what America is mostly composed of. Do you not know your demographics of the people who buy this stuff? Oh my lord. What is what what was going on through the company's brain? Okay, so let's try and imagine this. What should Do It Incorporated get into next? Should we get into the video games market? Women's clothing? girls fashion or better yet axes yeah I go for axes as well anyone else with axes I second a motion all right all in favor of axes say I I I I I I I I I I all right do you guys have it we're gonna make some do it axes oh my god I just want to be a fly on the wall once all this backlash comes in I wonder if some psycho killer actually killed his victims using that exact axe. Hmm. I wonder. And while I put that image into people's brains, let us move on to the next picture. So, of course, you'll heard of drinking and driving, texting and driving, makeup and driving, uh, sipping and driving, probably eating a burger or eating fries, but apparently someone thought up that this was going to be a good idea to eat a legitimate plate of spaghetti and meatballs, or at least a plate of spaghetti, whilst driving simultaneously. 
As you can see in the picture, that's not always a good idea because you generally want to try and have at least one hand on the steering wheel and both eyes on the road instead of trying to balance eating a, eating a goddamn plate of spaghetti whilst handling the steering wheel. Uh, what? What was going through that person's brain? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my lord. Well, at least the person's okay, and and at least they learned their lesson. That's the last time they, they eat spaghetti and drive, but... <laughs> oh my god. Imagine if that is the average American. Imagine half of that. Half America is stupider than that. I wonder what else they're going to do in drive. Please don't come up with any ideas and actually try it out on the roads, please. I want to have a safe journey back and forth to work, okay? Thank you. Alright, with that said, let's move on to the next picture. Now, in case anybody is unaware what a Darwin Award is, it's basically people that contribute to society by either getting themselves killed from doing a stupid stunt, or at least having their balls caved in to the point where they can no longer produce any biological offspring, thus natural selection taking place, and hopefully the world will be smarter and safer. So, with that said, I wonder what was going through these three idiots' brains to try and hook up an electric barbecue whilst being in the pool. And they tried to balance or float the electrical extension cords with a pair of flip-flops. I just... Y'all do realize all it takes is for somebody to splash a little water on that electrical power strip, or better yet, ha have, have it slip right off the... Floaties, somebody bumping into it, that thing's gonna go in the water. <laughs> We're gonna have a headline on the local news. Three idiots get electrocuted to death after attempting to electric barbecue whilst in the pool. Seriously, y'all people think this is a good idea. What, what was going through your brains? Have you had a little one too much... Bottles of beer in your brain? I mean, seriously, what is going... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that's, that's a Doran Award just waiting, waiting to be given to those three idiots. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's move on to the next picture. And on this, we have a picture of Michael Adler who's tweeting about his day. And it says, just settled the divorce over visitation of a parrot. Neither may teach it negative phrases about the other. I went to law school for this. Yep, you went to four years of basic college, four years of law school, spent well over $200,000 trying to educate yourself about the law, and this is what your job pretty much boils down to. Well, at least Michael Adler is not, at least he's settling a divorce over a parrot, and he's not trying to deal with a client who showed up to the courthouse dressed up like this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's what you think it is. That is world famous rapper 6 9 that had to answer to a few criminal charges dressed and showed up to court dressed exactly like this. This is what happens when you don't have a male role model in your life. You have idiotically rainbow hair. You got tattoos all over your face. His shoes aren't even tied. His shirt's not tucked into his pants. And apparently he decided to wear a dress shirt with jeans. Not even slacks. And oh my lord, look at how his tie is. Imagine if you were his defense attorney, I'd be, uh, oh my god, if I was his defense attorney, I'm a bounce. I don't care if I get a trillion dollars. I am not defending this idiot that thought it was a good idea to show up in court like, oh my god. Oh my, and, and imagine the judge, the judge is probably going to be like, um, 
Mr. Six Nine? What? What do you have on yourself? Why are you dressed like this in my courtroom? <laughs> like, oh my god! And if you you could see on his face, well, I can't really tell on his face, but it's I could pretty much tell two emotions: either oh my god, what have I done with my life, or man, screw this, I don't give a f, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is, this is just, this is the epitome of our American culture, pop culture. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, that will do it for this week. I've just had too much cringe to handle, and I'm still sorting through some even more cringier shit for next week's episode. And yes, it's going to have some super, super, super cringy shit. You have been warned. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Adam Walker, a.k.a. The Talking Brony. And I'll see you next time. Until then, I may need a six-gallon bucket of beer for this. <laughs>